Hi guys, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to make this video um, talking about my schizophrenic illness. I was really, really not sure if it was a good idea. But I've just spent about half an hour uh, looking on YouTube, uh, kind of like side trance music videos where all the um, imagery is generated by artificial intelligence and I don't know what I've just looked at it was so weird this stuff was trippy I mean I thought I'd seen some crazy shit but this um I don't know <sighs> I'm at a loss for words as to these music videos um so I thought I'd just say what my illness is like it's kind of like um having two people in your mind at the same time. I've kind of like got this sense that there's another entity in, in my um, my psyche and my mind. And it kind of like never goes away. It's like a little voice. Tap, 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 tap. And I've been hearing the same voice for like 27 years. And a lot of the time it's pretty nasty, like swears a lot. You know, it calls me stupid, calls me um, nasty names, keeps saying that I'm full of bullshit and that I'm a stupid bastard. And um, that's kind of like what it's like, um, which may sound a bit strange, but these artificial intelligence music videos that I just looked at were so weird. And so off the wall that it kind of dwarfs into insignificance my own symptoms. I mean, I am a little bit mad, but I'm not as mad as that. So, um, apparently, and all that, but, um, it's not all that bad. I'd rather hear voices and experience acute physical suffering, but, um, but yeah, that's schizophrenia, and you just learn to live with that. But like I said in my last video, if you can survive schizophrenia, you'll be a much stronger person. But um, after watching these artificial intelligence music videos, I was quite tempted to switch my computer off and never, ever go on the internet again. But... um thoroughly disturbing stuff that I just looked up on YouTube but um yeah so it's put me in quite a pensive mood but on the um on the flip side I have had quite a good day today I woke up feeling like I needed to get drunk so I thought the best thing if I'm craving alcohol is to go for a walk so I walked to Dorchester it took me about three and a half hours to four hours to walk there um, and today is another day sober, drug free, and without a cigarette. So, yeah, um, that's my little video for the day.